Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more La Milana 2. In the last episode, we went into the Corridor of Blood and discovered the Dark Lord's Mausoleum, which is a very uh, Yu-Gi-Oh sort of place. We are going to uh, continue looking around there because I feel like we're missing something. Besides, it's not like uh, we have very many other places to go at this point. Well, I guess we do, but I wasn't able to make progress in very many of those other places. Well, we'll have to figure something out, I suppose. This doesn't get us anywhere. So yeah, the corridor of blood is uh, already pointing us in the proper direction. Oh yeah, you can totally see the uh, uh, somebody holding the Behera up to the hit corridor of blood. That's interesting, I didn't notice that before. And I guess it's one of those things you need to be told rather than shown. Alright, so, Dark Lord's Mausoleum. By the way, we never uh, read over our glossary entries for some of these new enemies. Interesting. Rock beetles! Far more dangerous than dung beetles. <laughs> that basilisk does not know what the heck. Can't exactly get out of here, right? These things don't even drop the... Whoops. Aha! What's this? It's a ROM. Angra Mainu. Ooh, this is, uh, this might be important. A demon with no true form, but Angra Mainu borrows the form of a lizard when appearing in this world. The body it occupies is too hard to be pierced by any blade. Crushing it beneath a great weight is the only way to defeat it. Okay, what does that mean for us exactly? We never did go over here. What's in here? The inquisitive mind is power in itself. Having already pursued the heavens, life, and death, what else lies ahead of us? It was for the purpose of answering this very question that Ra embarked on his endeavors. People should not have to live their li entire lives on the ground as we do. We need to leave this place. She is the wife of Haman of the Inuit. But the couple are split by their allegiances. Amina is not involved with the fighting directly. She simply watches over Ra the Chieftain. She one of the fifth children. Contents of the chest goes to the one who already goes to the one who already holds them high. Hmm. What could be in this chest? Oh! <laughs> I was right. Fancy that. You got a crystal skull. Now what? Uh, now what? I, uh, I can't go in here. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll just uh, go to the village. We'll heal up. Uh, let's find out what that skull has to say. Words of a Cyrilline Nuna. Oh, sad, dumb bodies ones. Do you remember? How do you like the two spiffy legs? 
Biffy. <laughs> What? <laughs> Is this a message from aliens or something? Or part of the Chimera experiments? What's going on here? Oh, very strange. Alright, back to the mausoleum. Let's see if we can uh, fight that boss. Now we know it's weakness. So yeah, what I was thinking was, it has to be a usable item that you can hold up, but it also has to be something that we have multiple of, and uh, what else is there but a crystal skull? So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm glad my puzzling intuition was spot on. Let's carry on now. Let's go to a place. A place with a face. Bunch. Alright, onward. Head is in trouble. And also, uh, costing her a lot of money. Isn't that how pets are, everybody? Why we're going back to the 
Back to the mall with him once again. Still not really sure what the purpose of this video is. I mean, the chain whip is stronger and it does just as much. It has just as much reach. Where else can we go in here? Our grail tablet. Uh, go. Not seeing a way to get over. Oh wait. Stairs exist in, uh, in unexpected places. Good to know. Also, now I can just teleport straight here. The power left by the sky people is hidden amid an ancient chaos. It is the manifestation of the power that will destroy Eglana. That sounds important. This is the Dark Lord's Mausoleum, the land of they who fly the path to the sky alongside their path of rebellion. Aha! Ooh. Deadly spikes of death. Obtain the crystal that seals a pyramid, then all hidden in this land shall be revealed. The truth of the pyramid will be exposed. Have we heard something like that already? while we were around here last time. 
So yeah, I think we need mantras of fire and earth for this room in particular. <laughs> Those, uh, those scans taken care of, even if we can't do anything about it right now. I think maybe we should keep an eye out for more Castlevania stairs. Also, there is a hidden shop in this room, and I suspect it is uh, behind this death trap, so, uh, See if we can't get some shuriken though. Yeah. All right. Let's get ready to uh, let's get ready to run. Yes. Uh, here we go, Lieutenant. Right, didn't we receive an email about this before? Some sort of pass acquired. Didn't we have text about this? Oh wait, it was at the Ice Fire Treetop, that's what it I think. Let's see. I see a door. It's set. We Amarna, the fifth children, were the first race to defy the mother's power. Whatever has transpired, I can no longer feel the mother's power. Our beloved Rosh will rule over this world. At the peak of the Dark Lord's Pyramid lies the Ben Ben Stone. Throne where the recognized Lord of the Dark Stars promote the say. The Lord with Heaven's Mandate will arrive at Nibiru at Sky's distance. Another empty throne. of obtaining the power of the sky. Only those who have acquired the Dark Lord's power will be permitted to enter. So, once again, we need Melmere. Whoops. What's up here? Uh, already been here. What's up this way? This lets us go over here. Okay. A research journal! Number six, the fifth children. The remaining survivors of the fifth children are enclosed within the Gate of the Dead. A race known as the Ennead, apparently they are sealed off deep down in one of the branching areas, together with their enemy race, the Amarna. The cause of their fighting is unknown. 
It is likely that the Ennead are fighting against the Amarna because the Amarna are looking to seize power. Sounds like a source of discord to me. Not yet having spoken with the Ennead people, this is all I can say with confidence. Compared with the previous races, it seems as though the fifth children were created to be much more intelligent than their predecessors. One would assume that the mother realized that having too much power had caused previous races to set their sights on the power of the mother herself, and therefore created the smaller, more intelligent race. Consequently, inside Eglana, which is filled with an eclectic mix of the various races, these people are referred to as dwarves. However, too much intelligence can also become a form of great power. <coughs> their high intelligence caused them to fear their own mortality, regardless of the fact that they had much longer natural lifespans than the modern humans. So the fifth children continued their research into technology and methods for escaping death, as well as for creating life itself. The races remaining in La Mulana constructed a massive pyramid and planned to utilize it in an attempt to absorb the mother's power. Possibly seeing these behaviors as a form of blasphemy or sacrilege against herself, the mother used her power to throw the language of the fifth children into confusion. Sounds like uh, what happened at the Tower of Babel. Now unable to communicate properly amongst themselves, let alone with other races, the fifth children started fighting each other and eventually wiped themselves out through war. However, the life-bearing machine created by the fifth children, the Tree of Life, was used by the mother as a tool. She was now able to create life, and subsequently a new workforce, without using any of her own power. Born from this Tree of Rough Life was a race known as the Six Children, who are aesthetically similar to modern man. Having been created from clay, their lifespans are immensely longer than ours. It were these Six Children, for whom the influence of the Mother was considerably weakened, who began to consider sealing the Mother away. <laughs> power of the feather held by the Dark Lord, the power to reach ever greater heights. It will pass to those who can harness the power of storms and clear the corridors. Gaze up at heaven from this place, then hidden relics shall be yours. Okay. <laughs> it was a twat! supposed to stand it not there. actually get up there without the feather, right? Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, that wasn't the answer. Uh, maybe this is best left for, uh, some other time. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this is all best left for some other time, guys. 